Three senior Labour MPs, all former cabinet ministers, have been suspended from the party over lobbying for cash allegations. Sky News understands Gordon Brown approved the action after a TV documentary showed the MPs claiming they could influence government if they were hired by a fake company. Sky's political correspondent Neil Patterson reports. It was only after the documentary aired that action was taken, but Jeff Hoon, Patricia Hewitt and Stephen Byers have now been suspended from the Labour Party and look set to depart Parliament in low regard indeed. I'm a bit like a sort of cab for hire, I suppose. It was the brazen nature of Stephen Byers' admission that perhaps rankled most, the former Transport Secretary seemingly confessing to using his influence over the current Cabinet to the benefit of his client, National Express. So between you and I, I then spoke to Andrew Downes, Transport Secretary and said, Andrew, look, they've got a huge problem. Is there a way out of this? He also claimed credit for halting DEFRA's plans to introduce tough food labelling at Tesco's request. Yeah. So you've been a piece of and say, Peter, do you know that Hillary Benn is about to do it? What? So, but did you really call Peter Mandelson? Yeah, That's no, amazing. All of this strenuously denied by Tesco, National Express, Lord Mandelson and the current Transport Secretary. My Lords, there is no truth whatsoever in the suggestion that Stephen Byers came to any arrangement with me on any matter relating to National Express. Denying any wrongdoing, Mr Byers had referred himself to the Parliamentary Standards Commissioner, his office claiming he'd merely over-exaggerated. That's not enough to satisfy his party, nor the Conservative leader. These ministers, Hewitt and Byers, were claiming that they changed government policy, they got people appointed, they cost the taxpayer money. They're making these claims, and that goes to the heart of the issue of the integrity of the government. The others caught on tape maintained that they also were doing nothing wrong, merely exploring options in retirement. About two days a month. I mean, I've been offered... £3,000 yeah. for a day's work. But perhaps they should have expected any suggestion of impropriety That's to be dealt with forcefully. Right. Even here, in the very heart of Westminster Parliament's central lobby, it's often difficult to gauge the exact influence that the shadowy lobbying cadre actually possesses, flitting in and out of the corridors of power, sometimes as invited guests, occasionally with a security pass of their own. They act to influence policy through their relationships with both civil servants and, of course, politicians. All the same, earlier on Monday, the PM spokesman said Mr Brown could see no impropriety in government departments, therefore there would be no government investigation. Ministers act in the public interest. They make decisions in the public interest. It is an absolutely fundamental part of the duties of their office. A meeting of Labour backbenchers Monday evening proved the tipping point. There's almost nothing in my diary for April. Whilst that may be true for Messrs Hoon, Byers and Hewitt, for Labour MPs remaining to fight the election, these revelations were the last thing they needed. After that, you know, I'm, 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 I'm yours. Neil Patterson, Sky News, Westminster. An international censorship row has erupted between America and China after Google shut down its service on the Chinese mainland. It comes after a two-month standoff between the search engine and the Chinese government over internet freedom and allegations of cyber attacks. While the White House said it was disappointed, Beijing retaliated by saying politics should not be brought into what it called commercial issues. Sky's China correspondent Peter Sharp reports. It was only ever going to end one way.